Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today we're gonna have a different kind of video, guys. Today I'm gonna be making a candle um, in honor of Lahaina. As you know, Lahaina, it's a town in Maui that got destroyed by this fire uh, this, this past week. And I am devastated because my husband and I were supposed to go to be there on Sunday. I was coming home from the gym, you know, um, I was, I arrived home and it so happens that I see um, the phone ringing and I took the phone call and it was my husband and uh, he told me, well, he said to me that, remember that the exact words, but he said to me like, um, the trip to Maui has been canceled. And I said to him, why? And he said, because the town is on fire. So I just, you know me, I'm very emotional. So I said to him, but what happened? What happened? A fire, but what happened? Was it a nuclear attack? Um, the town is no longer there. Why? What happened? So he said to me, well, there was a, a big fire and due to the high winds, the, uh, the town got, the town of Lahaina, it's all, it's all burned, it's all gone. So he said, and he said to me that they canceled all the flights, they canceled all the hotels, reservations, everything has been canceled because they, uh, the island is on, like, on lockdown in a way, you know? Uh, the fires were still going at that time and I said to me, oh my God, oh my God. So uh, we got refunded for everything, you know? And anyway, so I kept, thinking, you know, my God, the poor people in there, you know, it's, it was awful. And I kept thinking, you know, it was almost a year ago that we were there, guys, and I, I got these this black pearls right there in Lahaina, and that's why I'm wearing them today, you know, in honor of them. And, you know, I said, I am so devastated, guys, that I just need to do this video because I need to express the sadness that I have. Um, I, I want to express the, uh, hope that I have for the town to come back to life, you know? It's just to me, it's like, like the phoenix like rises from the ashes. And I just wanna make a tribute candle to honor uh, Lahaina, you know, and, and the people in there, okay? Um, I decided to make a candle, guys, and uh, just to express my feelings about the town, uh, about this whole situation, you know? It could happen to anyone. It could happen to any town in the world, you know? That's why we all have to be like prepared, like, we, we all have to be aware, you know, guys, of um, how precious life is and how, how fast, in a matter of minutes, everything could end, you know? So anyway, so enough of that. I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm gonna make this beautiful candle. I'm gonna be using the even more white iridescent uh, because I think that this is gonna give me hope, you know? I want something white, something pure, something that rises from the ashes, you know? And I think this beautiful vessel is gonna do it for me. Okay, this is from 1617 and they are on pre-order right now if you are interested. Look how beautiful it is. And for this also, I decided to use uh, fragrance oils from 1617. To me, they are very spiritual. To me, uh, the message that they, they, they give me, especially these three different fragrance oils that I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first fragrance oil that I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to make a blend, but I'm gonna let them speak to me, okay guys? So the first one is gonna be Persephone. Uh, the second one is going to be Kathmandu. And the third one is going to be Eternal. Eternal. Okay? So I'm going to make uh, send strips from all these. I'm going to see what they tell me, okay? Okay, so the first one is Persephone. Okay? I'm going to make a sense strip and I'm going to put it to the side. I also wanted to make this video outdoors, guys, because I wanted to be inspired by nature, you know? And um, yeah, so the, third one is gonna, the second one is going to be Kathmandu. And the third scent strip is gonna be eternal. And this is gonna be a, a two-part uh, video, guys, because I'm gonna choose the scent, the blend, outdoors, but we are gonna go inside to make the candle, okay, guys? So, yes, okay, so let me read you the information. The first oil that I'm gonna try is gonna be Kathmandu, okay? And uh, I'm not gonna read any information, I'm gonna smell it first. Okay, so let me just put Kathmandu here first. Okay, it touches my soul. It goes right through me. Uh, this has some kind of woodsiness on it, but it, it has also incense. It's purifying. It makes me feel like center. It makes me feel calm. It makes me feel hopeful, okay? Okay, so let me see the fragrance family. It's earthy and woody. The top note is Malabar pepper and cedar. Middle note is sandalwood, 
and the base note is Baltic Amber, okay? Okay, but I smell something more in here that I'm sure is not in there. <sighs> Spicy cedar top notes mingled with sandalwood and heady amber, creating a divinely grounding fragrance. The other cedar native to the Himalayas means wood of the gods. Okay, that by itself could be the candle, okay? Now the next one is gonna be, let me just look in here, Eternal, see what Eternal uh, gives me today. I'm so emotional guys, I feel like, I feel like I'm being blessed. I feel like water just falling into me, you know? It's a beautiful floral that is really washing through me. It's also touching my soul. It's purity. It's, it's mesmerizing. And it's very enchanting, guys. Beautiful. Let me just read you the description. It's, I cannot describe it. Okay. Rich magnolia blossom and sultry jasmine dance with notes of frangipani. Frangipani is plumeria, which is the flower of Hawaii. In this eternally sensuous fragrance from 1617. I'm sorry guys, I'm very emotional today. Anchoring notes of tobacco, leaf, vetiver and dark vanilla round out this exotic treasure. Uh, fra fragrance family. <sighs> Sultry, floral. Okay, top notes. Magnolia, blossom. <laughs> Middle notes, frangipania, jasmine. Based of tobacco and vanilla. <sighs> These have to be part of this candle. Absolutely. Okay, the next is Persephone. Oh my God. Wow. I'm sorry guys. I'm very emotional. You can understand why. Okay, let me see what this gives me. Another beautiful soul touching fragrance oil, very spiritual again. This gives me the, the vision of starting over, of starting from scratch, of starting a new chapter in my life. It's very cleansing, very pure again. Uh, Persephone is the first spring morning following a long cold winter. Bright and crisp, like fresh linens on the line. Persephone exhibits top notes of orange and cherry blossom, key lime and key and clean cotton, complemented by mid notes of plum and pomegranate, followed by base notes of bamboo and beechwood. A joyous and delightful fragrance to highlight your inner goddess. Oh God. Okay, uh, the family fragrance, the fragrance family is fresh. Uh, top notes, orange blossom, key lime and cotton, middle notes, plum and pomegranate, base notes, uh, bamboo and beechwood. And every one of these fragrance oils have characteristics that I would like to have on, on a beautiful candle, okay? I'm gonna try and see to create a masterful blend, guys. Okay, can't undo, it has to be on it. It's like, you know what guys, every single fragrance from 1617 has such a message, it's such a storytelling uh, experience, you know, that each and every one of them can be used by themselves to make, to make a beautiful candle, okay? I just wanna make this unique, I just want this to talk to me and tell me what do you want this candle to be. A again, this is gonna be a tribute for Kathmandu and Eternal together. Oh my God. It's 
so beautiful. It's so... It, it brings some emotions. It's, it takes me back. Now that I'm thinking about it, it takes me back. It takes me back to Lahaina. Okay, let me see. Will it work? Oh my God, there's a bee here. The bee is trying to tell me something. Just went away. Okay, let me see how these two combine with the third one. Let's see if I combine the three of them together, what this gives me, okay? Again, I'm gonna ask you, will this work? Let me close my eyes. It works. It does work. Equal parts. This is the blend. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna be making a blend of these three beautiful fragrance oils, guys. The vessels have spoken to me and it touched my soul. This is the blend that I'm gonna make for the beautiful tribute candle for Lahaina. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go inside, guys. I'm gonna get everything ready, guys. And we're gonna be making the beautiful candle, okay guys? So I'll see you back inside. Oh my God, amazing. Amazing. Okay guys, we'll come back. So let's start prepping the, prepping the, uh, the vessel, guys. This is the Evermore White Iridescent, guys. Uh, okay, so let me read you the information for 617. Our uh, White Iridescent Candle Cylinder is lavish and luxurious. The high gloss interior paint dazzles with an exterior iridescent that simply shimmers. This amazing vessel truly belongs on every connection. Okay guys, so the recommended fill is gonna be 13 ounces. I'm gonna be using 14 ounces for this. Okay. Um, Every more cylinders are reusable and upcyclable. Take care not to scrape the interior paint when cleaning the vessel, okay? For uh, the weekend information, it's gonna say here, test it with our container candles, number seven and number three. We like to use a double CDN number three week, okay? The fragrance oil that you choose may affect you, uh, your weekend also, okay? Uh, it all depends, guys, on the testing. That's a starting point that 1617 recommends. So I'm gonna be using a double CDN number three because I've done this before and I know that that works for me, okay? So now that I have the weak centering tool inside the vessel, I'm just gonna take the CDN number three and I'm gonna place them. Okay, now the next one. I'm so inspired, guys. It's like, um, I was thinking, okay, I need to do something to, to clear my mind, you know, and to uh, something like that has meaning for me. Okay, so this is number two. That is meaningful for me, guys. And to me, making candles is something that really like makes me feel accomplished, makes me feel like I'm doing something spiritual. Okay, so this is a beautiful, perfectly weak candle. Uh, so I, I need to do something like this, just to clear my mind, you know, uh, just to accept the fact that, you know, Lahaina is unfortunately what happened, you know, but I know that the town people and the people of Hawaii, the island uh, of Maui, and they're all gonna help each other into create uh, a better Lahaina. Okay, guys, because it's not gone. It may be gone for now, but it's not forgotten, guys. Uh, okay, so I'm just place this at the bottom. So this is perfectly weak. Look at this beautiful vessel now. So now I'm gonna I'll read you all the numbers, okay? Now for this vessel, guys, I'm gonna be using a 14 ounce total fill, okay? Uh, even though they recommend 13, but I'll do 14. Uh, anyway, so uh, I already prepped the vessel with a double CD number three, guys. And uh, for the fragrance oils, I'm gonna be using uh, a ratio of uh, equal parts for the three different fragrance oils, Kathmandu, Eternal, and Persephone. This is giving me like an amazing, an amazing blend combination, guys, that I think it inspires me. It makes me feel uh, hopeful. It makes me feel happy. Uh, it makes me feel like uh, better things to come, you know, and that's why I'm using these beautiful oils, okay? So now having here the total feel of the candle for me, it's gonna be 14 ounces. So I okay, and for the fragrance oils, guys, because I'm gonna be Combining the three oils, guys, I just made my numbers. Okay, if I want a 10% fragrance load, okay? So what you do is you go to the calculator, okay? Now, it's gonna be 14 ounces total fill. So you go 14 times 0 0.10 because I want 10% equals 1.4. Okay, so I need 1.4 fragrance oil to make this candle for 10%, okay? Now, let's see. If I divide that by three, divided by three equals 
0.46, okay guys? So I'm gonna round it up to five. So it's gonna be a little bit over 10%, but that's fine, okay? Now, the total field is gonna be 14. Okay, so 14 minus 1.5 equals 12.5, okay? So we're gonna need 12.5 ounces of wax. So when you add 1.5 and 12.5, and 12 it's just gonna give you a total field of 14 ounces, okay guys? So I know it's confusing, but it's, um, it's the way it's worked out. Now we need to bring this wax to at least 220, 220 degrees Fahrenheit, guys. So, okay, so I have in here the 1.5 ounces of fragrance oil, guys. Uh, so I made 0 0.5 ounces of each, okay? So to make it equal parts. So that's gonna go into the candle. I'll be right back once the wax comes into temperature, yes! Okay, guys, we'll come back. Let's see how hot the wax is. Okay, so see, it's to 10. I'm gonna pour the fragrance oil. Okay, I'm gonna let it hang for a few seconds. Let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna stir this for 20 seconds. That's all you need because remember we are using number seven wax, okay? So 20 seconds is all we need to blend the fragrance oil and the wax together. That's the beauty of number seven, guys. And I'm gonna let it go down to between 180 and 185 before I pour into the beautiful vessel, okay guys? So I'm gonna keep stirring and I'll come back once the temperature reach 180 or 185, okay? Yes! Okay, it's 180, time to pour. Okay, come on beautiful. I decided to call this candle the Lahaina candle, guys. It's proper to do that, guys, okay? So I'm gonna now pour the candle very slowly, guys, because we don't want to make any mess. Lahaina, I know you're gonna come back better better than ever all the best wishes to you guys and i just want to i just want to thank everyone that have sent really positive vibes to them you know i know this is gonna be hard road ahead guys i went to tragedy already i've uh, been um on 9-11 in new york city when, when that uh, when that event occurred so i know how it is to be on a on this state of shock on this state of like oh my god i cannot believe that this is happening guys but this happened it's called life but we have to be resilient we have to give support to the people that need it the most guys and that's the people of hawaii please send all your good vibes you know donate to the red cross and to the people and the charities that are giving support to the alhaina guys and i want to thank you guys for being here today with me guys and again <sighs> thank you so much guys and you're gonna love this beautiful blend okay guys so i'll see you in the next video bye yes Come on, Lahaina, raise up, guys, raise up. Aloha, yes.